you can believe that is the second time I'm recording this video. The devil don't want me to do this. Anyways, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be reacting to and having a little bit of a discussion on the Noah Lyles um situation between Noah Lyles and Jenna Bramfield. I saw the discussion on the Discord and the internet, and uh, I have my opinions, right? So I'm going to show um two videos well two snippets rather it that is in one video by dancehall agenda that basically speaks about um what noel Lyles was saying as it relates to him spilling the tea on jamaican track and field as well as um janelle bromfield's response and then we discuss it all right let's go and the things that i'm saying at the interview you see me and then we are going to check out miss kitty's reaction after that and we are going to give our thoughts upon it said we you see me so check out where noah lies say it's funny you say that because you know janelle being jamaican and having trained in mvp i've been getting the drama from jamaica and camps for at least five years now um there's a lot of times where i make references to jamaicans it's not i'm not saying it because i'm like trying to go back and forth it's because i know information that other people don't and it's like like janelle and elaine used to be very close friends like they were training partners through 2021 very close uh then she was extremely close with sharika she's still very close with sharika you know you see her in the in the series doing sharika's hair you know that that's that's sharika's wig woman right there you know she's already you know she was just buying wigs for sharika to bring to the olympics uh yesterday like um and even talk about like kashane oblique like you know she's close with kashane i've known about these a lot of the jamaicans that are on the underground that she and usually her janelle's eye for talent is very strong if she says that somebody's gonna run fast they usually run fast but i'm very hip to information that a lot of people is just like oh this came out of nowhere mm, no nah, i, I kind of saw it were you gonna say no spoke on, she spoke on kashane like pretty early i remember like mm -hmm. he's been this good and he just got hurt. He's about to do something crazy this weekend. And that yeah. was right before Jamaican Charles. Yeah. And when I, when, you know, we were in the interview and they said how fast he run, I said, I hope he stays injured because I know that he's had a hard history with injuries and that every time he runs fast, he usually okay. has. Okay. So let me pause it right here. He said he hopes he stays injured, right? So a while back, Noah Lyles, um, when he was at the U.S. trials, he was doing an interview and the interviewer asked him if he was aware of what was going on with our trials in Jamaica. And he was like, no, um, what's going on? So the interviewer told them, told Noah that Kishin had run at 9.82 in the semifinals or I don't remember the time, but he ran a very fast time, 9.8 something, right? And um, Noah's reaction was like, hmm. I hope he stays healthy. And he sipped on his water bottle. And my reaction was like, okay, he's being sarcastic. He doesn't, you know, I don't see this as something that's positive in the sense of, um, no, it doesn't mean it's in a sense of, oh, I hope he stays healthy so that he can come and compete against me at his best. That wasn't the vibe I was getting. I was getting the vibe of, mm, well, let's see if he stays healthy that was the vibe i was getting so even though he was saying i hope he stays healthy the vibe i was getting was let's see if he stays healthy as if he had some knowledge about kishin all right so when i meant went on the social media platforms them know people are saying oh jamaican people I look too deep in a eat jamaican people this that 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 and then some persons were defending noah oh he didn't mean anything about it and listen to me you need to listen to when people talk. Um, Noah was the same one that was saying that he studies his opponents and um he watches lots of shock and feel and he 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 knows his opponent and he's all about psychology and mind games and things like that. And for somebody who is so invested in the sports and studies his oppon opponents, he sounded as if he knew about Kishin and his injury problems that he had. I didn't know about Kishin and that Kishin that are fuck um this is the first time i was privy to that he, he was injured or had injuries i didn't know but i just never liked the tonality of it and then for him to come and say you know uh, um 
he knows about um this and that and um when he said i hope he said injured he was referring to the old clip which, and um with that clip he had something called a freudian slip right so a freudian slip is basically when you mean to say one thing but you say the other thing and that thing that you said it reveals your subconscious thought so it's like you unintentionally revealed your subconscious of what you were thinking so really and truly it's hard one he shame for 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 injure okay yeah it's subconscious one thing for injure so because guess what i'm not running 9.77 if no allies run 9.77 something right no right okay okay right. anyways let us continue that, that he was able to keep going, going. like oh this is great you know he's, he's actually, actually being, being able, able to show, show his full potential, full potential. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's like, like having, having that, that insight, insight of no i've been knowing that, that. This, this this cat's uh that, that, that they're, they're pretty, pretty good or, yeah, no, he's, he's been around so it wasn't breaking news to me i've, I've, I've seen on twitter <laughs> it's like the most toxic world it's the most toxic world you can get in track and field like drama is toxic and just like shots being thrown accused accusations are being made a lot of times about him it's the most but of course it's because i'm winning a lot of fun going to a jamaican track track a great time. Yeah, I had to come off Twitter for a while just because of that. It was just, it was just oh, too much. Even even not I mean, just Jamaica, because I expect it from track Jamaica. Track I mean, they, they're a little yeah, conflicted right now because, you know, I'm dating Janelle. Right? Yeah, it was just, I have a good relationship with him. To be honest, at the end of the day, it's just a rivalry. And people are, you know, I expect the rivalry to be hot. You know, just like the U.S. is going to cheer for me. I expect the Jamaicans to cheer for, like, you know, day, their people. You know, it, it's, it's a rivalry. And then everybody wants to take shots at the king. So, you know, why you like, on, you're always going to have a target on your gonna back. For me, but to, to go back to, the you know, Jamaican Twitter, for, you know, yeah, people, they, they are right? ride or die it's, it's people. And then but, if I love it, because that's what you that's what you want to see. You want to have that nation behind you. So, yeah, it is a wild trip. So be prepared when you play. Yeah, like I said, it's a guitar. Explore, you're going to find some things. That yeah, oh, yeah. No, uh, I know. So, like, yeah, I'll post I, the video it, it, it and I'll have it. Like, if I'm so saying, you know, Noah Lyles yeah, versus the, just Noah time. taking down the Jamaican <laughs> throne, the rain. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I know yeah. every I know, comment like, is gonna be. You're a dumb person. You don't know nothing. He's not on this. I'm just like, I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what's going on. They they ride or die for their people. It's like, you know, I expect that of any team. Like, same people that you walk one listen to the dog. I say, you don't know nothing. Pause this up. You did you hear what he said? Not only Noah, but also the interviewer. He says that if he was supposed to, supposed to post a video, um, oh Noah Lies is coming for the Jamaican throne. He knows that it's going to upset us as Jamaicans. So basically, they're doing this on purpose to trigger us to get clicks, likes, and views. So my people, do not fall for it. Okay, do not fall for it. Pay them dust. Pay them dust. But um. Personally, I don't think that this was the, the platform for him to discuss um, that Janelle was sharing things with him because, and then, no, you know, he knows what he's doing. Let me tell you why he knows what he's doing. The mere fact that he said that he expects it, then who who, who to tell that he wouldn't have um, expected this backlash based on what he was um, saying. Maybe he, he knew that Janelle would have gotten some backlash for what he said on the podcast, but said it anyways, because if he if he knows so much about track and field and about Jamaican and he expects Jamaica to ride for his people, if you know that that is how Jamaican people are, why would you put your girlfriend in that type of situation? Or why would you put that girlfriend in that type of predicament? Does that make any sense? Is that a loving boyfriend? I, I don't want no man like that. Like, if you know a set of people, they act a certain way, why would you want the negative criticism? And why would you want to put a wedge between Janelle and her people? Make that make sense. Yo, Janelle tell all of the secret them. I the dog. Come, come leak all of the pillar talk them are going on you. That F up in the now lies. What you deal with? No, you put the girl in a problem because Junel go to the Olympic Games. Junel I go there in the Jamaican camp. No, they might go see they might go cheat her different now. You see me? And yeah, yeah, say yo, she and Sherika good. Oh, you feel Sherika go feel for ear, say yo. Everything where she tell Junel, Junel tell you and you are tell back the whole world. You see me? When it was people. Leave on a thoughts on that. No, me I'm making a check out Miss Kitty's reaction to all of this. So you know, say Noah Lyles, the American sprinter, right? 
came on a podcast. Okay, so on Netflix, there is a series called Spring. Spring. Janelle, what's her name? Jamel or Janelle? Janelle Broomfield. That is yeah. the lady, right? She's with that she man there. That right. is it. Mm -hmm. You don't know, say, oh, I go up on one podcast. Go say, oh, yeah, he knew about the um, beef between Sher um, Elaine and Shellyan because Jamel tell him about them. And um, he knew about um, Oblique's injuries and he knew about the injuries and the infighting and stuff because Jamel tell him about them. As a matter of fact, um, she and Sharika are close and as you can see in the series, she was doing her hair and oh, she just buy some wigs here for the Olympics. Now, QP, why your woman tell you these things? Mouth. Why? Your mouth. I say, hey, you see when you sleep with the devil? Your mouth. When you're sleeping with the enemy? Your mouth. I say, guys, I'll know. Your mouth. I cannot like me. I'm in. I'm totally flabbergasted. Yeah. QP, you can imagine. Oh, in a day village, she's gonna be a pariah. Yeah, because everybody be like, oh, so you chat me with your man. Yeah, yeah can't go. Tell she, can't tell she. Can't uh, tell she no. Uh. Can't tell she no. Uh. Eh? Crazy. Me say, uh, yo. No. Me say, it come like me, it come like the brother make us see me. I wa woody, wa white woody, wa white clothes. No, what are you doing? Why you do that, sir? No, I cannot. Like, I, I, so, but what I've also heard is that the backlash has been so bad that she has deleted her Twitter account. Really? Of course, I know the Jamaican them come here. I want to pop him wisdom teeth them. How do you come and you say that? Eh, your woman, you know, you know, I want to talk, you know. How do you come and reveal something like that? Why would you, why would you say that? Like all know me in disbelief. Like, say God no three time. God no three time. So you actually, <laughs> so you actually um, chat the woman business. So you know now when she in the village, everybody go pre she. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But I be a story for now. I see. Remember <laughs> me say, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you think you not me not gonna run? You not gonna run neither. That is crazy. Me say I cannot, but guys, anybody knows of the story? Tell me, right? Because I, I saw it this morning as well. Are you have you guys been apprised of the information? Apprised. Yeah. yeah no, I'm just saying. I'm no, why? You don't go on one podcast. Go say that. Why QP. would you volunteer that information? Yeah, for your woman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know I knew I knew all along because um Jamel told me about everything. Yeah, I, oh, I, I got the tea. You sound like a big girl. Run a big pan of dirty clothes. Like, you may eat it now. I want, no, I want class, you see? I want that, no. You know, say, I want to put on like one slip. And go down a town and get one of them calypso flip. You know, the same as I'm pushing your toe. And when the bottom bust out, you push your pin cross away. Probably you two switch out. You don't know them super there. I want disrespect, no. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. No. That was so low. No, I'm gonna love that part there. No, that no was one. so low. See you people that go on, leave your thoughts on this in the comment section. Let me know if you agree with Miss Kitty or not. You see me? But yeah, Junel, right now, Junel, I go careful when I'm telling Noah from now on. <laughs> you see me? But Junel, I know so you, go, you confront him as the interview done or probably as you hear the interview. I don't care if anybody wants to call me a hater, call me all, all the heat, tell you want to call me. I don't business. I personally do not like the relationship between Junel and Noah. I personally never liked the relationship between Junel and Noah. Right? I thought at the time it was off, everything was a bit weird. And then when they did that whole um, interview or discussion or video with Asafa and his wife, beautiful wife, I just thought that it was weird. I don't know. Noah rubs me the wrong way. And then the fact that he um keep saying that he studies track and field and he studies his opponent opponents like i don't know something just never sit well in my spirits with no allows right that and uh, fast forward now it's 2024 the relationship it's kind of like in your face it it's it smells more like of a marketing ploy on the side of Noah than a genuine relationship. I could be wrong. I don't know this man's intention. However, I didn't believe that it was real. Or if it is real, it's probably more real on Janelle's end than it is on Noah's end. Because when you're somebody why you keep on speaking to the public about oh how much information you have and the inside scoop and knowledge that you have on the Jamaican track and field. It sounds as if you're a mole. It sounds as if you are smelling out the competition 
in order to gain a competitive advantage. Because at the end of the day, you know, remember, they're always talking about warfare and tactics and tactical this and tactical that. I would have put, I would really put it past them. And, you know, they will do a lot of things to win. Not saying that Jamaicans won't do a lot of things to win either, but men are, men are trust them. You understand? No offense to the Americans. America. We love you still, you know. But this little rivalry, I don't want it to get out of hand. I don't want it to come to a point where it causes like a break in the relationship or the bond between Americans and Jamaicans, you know. Because at the end of the day, it's just a sport. Then we don't know these athletes. We don't know these people. We see them on TV. Some of us will never get to Paris. I will one day in Jesus' name. But some of us will never get to Beijing and Berlin and all these places where the Olympics are held. So we're just supporters. But um, that aside, I did not appreciate the response that Janelle gave. Because she posted up that she was on a plane on business class enjoying her best life. And I'm like, mama, listen to me. Like, you see, if I'm going to post up that I'm on a plane enjoying my best life, it is first class. Okay? Or private J. So... Don't pretend as if you are all that in a bag of chips when you're not. Remember the country that got you there in the first place. And I really hope that she doesn't put herself in a position whereby she financially depends on Noah. And then when he's ready and if and when he dumps her, he just dumps her. I really do not want that for her because guess what? The same Jamaican people who you talking about say cannot buy your flight. They're the same ones that are going to bash you and tear you down. Okay? Because guess what? Your response was not tasteful. And that's is why i'm saying who are the individuals that are around junelle where is her team where is her camp where is our pr if you know i i, I don't see that like shelly would never shelly and professor price mama pocket rockets would never in, even in the midst of backlash shelly is silent guess what because she understands that she's a public filler figure and that anything that is said can be misconstrued right and the olympics is like nine days away a week away what are you doing on social media you should be in the gym you should be on the track you should be training don't focus on the locals if you know that your relationship is secure you don't have to brag about being on business class not even first class mama if it was first class when i say yeah but business no boom no anyways overall i really do hope that you know as a nation we can get past this i really want kishin to win and oblique to come second you know oblique is my boy kishin is my boy i love all of my athletes and i hope that kishin remains injury free and um bad mind not to came down in jesus name i don't have any ill feelings for noah lyles at all um yeah but i feel good down noah the arc i feel the arc i feel sink all right, yeah, it's like a submarine, brother. Like, <laughs> it's all fun and games still. But at the end of the day, um, I don't want anybody coming for the the young girl Janelle's looks and appearances. That's another thing I needed to talk about. I didn't like the fact that people were saying that she ugly and she black. I saw a comment on Twitter that was so bad. Like them say, they said something to the effect of Janelle. Black and I want underneath my bed. So they were saying Jenna is darker than what is underneath your bed. I did not like that. That was not funny. That was harsh. And to know that it was coming from your own people. Like, uh, that's mean. And I don't think she's ugly. But I just think that um, I would put more of the blame on Noah. Because at the end of the day, I cannot blame her for what she discusses with her partner. Because remember that the sport, it's their job, they're athletes. And just as so if you're working on one call center or if you're a teacher, doctor, nurse, whatever profession you're doing, um, when you go to work and you had a bad day or you had a rough day or you're just excited about your day, you're going to tell your significant other what was going on. So that I don't fault her for. But when he's going to come on a public platform knowing and having an understanding how jamaicans are because this is not the first time that will lash him but when you're going to do that on a public platform and then you're going to always say oh um janelle give me the tea and the scoop and the this and the that it's not a good look for us jamaicans it's not a good look maybe for you americans it is but for us it isn't and then the fact that you're going to say that you know um that jamaicans will do this and that it means that you are aware of what you're doing and you're purposefully triggering the jamaican fans and for that jamaicans do not pay no one any mind
right? Yeah. But that was my thoughts. And those were my opinions. Um, yours could be different from mine. Maybe I'm overthinking it in your opinion. Maybe you think that what I'm saying is not correct and you have something else. Chip in down below. Like, I am open to hearing all of the thoughts and all of the opinions and let us have a discussion don't forget to like comment and subscribe you have to subscribe like you made it this far thank you so very much and i'll see you in the next video bye